Uh, next one up. All right, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Sorry to interrupt you, but I gotta, I gotta see if I can take right. out You're playing a fool, aren't you? Keep yeah. talking to me, though. Keep talking to me. Wait till I put the headphones on and tell me what to do. Okay. <laughs> All right. I want to thank everyone. It sounds like we had some audio issues to begin the episode, but I think we have it all worked out now. Um, what you missed is a lot of draining. We talked about yeah. how these players stink at Magic Castle. And, uh, <laughs> hey, I just started. I mean, let me, give me a break. <laughs> Hopefully everything so, that they need to do, uh, Dan will tell you about again. <laughs> Chris, what's what? your strategy here? What are you going to do? Um, I, I like this orbit thing up top. Yeah. And I like drop targets. Okay. Is that awesome. what my goal is? Yeah, yeah, that's a okay. that's a reasonable goal. All right. I also like how this like right at the upper flipper, if you don't flip, it actually hits this bumper and kinda comes straight up. So let's see what happens yeah, when we do that's that. That's pretty neat. Ooh, now, oh, oh what? Now there's gonna be a, a little bit of a delay between you pressing the right flipper button and that top flipper activating. And that's because that top flipper ah. is actually activated from an end of stroke switch on the lower flipper, which is not a brilliant way of setting up a that is weird. Weird. It is. Oh, oh dear, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Who right. we got up so now? Jake up now. So Alexander had a decent first ball. And he really Well, did. Jake had the fast out lane. Yeah. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was going straight yeah. back down that outlay. So did he. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the sound play. effects on these games are really good. Oh, oh I yeah. love them. I look at there. Look at that. We got. Yeah, we have a back glass oh. animation going on as well. Now, who else was doing back glass animations in 1982? Come on. Uh, not many. Um, uh, we had a whole bunch of them in the EM era. Yeah, it's like I had a. I had a skyline that uh, had an opening elevator, mm. but uh... now do you see uh, where it says "Orange Special" in the center oh, of the playfield? Right yes. Here. <laughs> so when that's uh, when you r when you hit these targets up here, where it says "Advance Orange Special," this target pops up. <laughs> that's a, a drop target that comes up out of the playfield. Knock that down for advancing your Orange Special. Get the orange special all the way up to the top, and most of the time these games would have been set for an extra ball on the orange special and a replay on the red special. Now, because these are uh, uh, replay games, these are tournament games, we have them set up for points. And if I remember rightly, it's a million points for an orange special and four and a half million for a red yeah, special. Um, whenever the next person steps up, we can ask them. There should be a sticker that tells you. Yeah, how many points they are. I put a little sticker on the apron. Yeah. Can you Alexander. see it there, Alexander? Yes. Yeah, what are the points for the orange and red specials? Um, orange is a million, and red is five million. Five million. So okay. get red, win. Yeah. So once again, to get the red special, knock down the castle and magic drop targets, and then shoot it up the ramp here. Have to do that four times, I believe. Oh, a little too late on the React Flip for that. It's getting really fast. Yeah. Well, I just waxed it. <laughs> oh, like nice. Bit Literally an hour fast. ago. You waxed it an hour ago? Yeah. Oh, man, such a oh, gentleman. Dan, Dan gives us the <laughs> finest uh, <laughs> games. For those really? not familiar with Dan, he's one of the uh, head techs here at Papa. All the uh, games that are really hard during Pinburg, blame yeah, those, Dan. Those are my fault, yeah. And I enjoy it, too. If, it, if a game plays nice and easy, that's Eckert. And, yeah. And uh, if it's hard, Dan did it. Like, this is what I like. I like five-second drones. That would be an interesting thing uh, like if we had ball times for games that you uh, set up versus <laughs> games that Dan set up versus everyone else. Oh, no. What did we do there? We did the horseshoe there. So that is flashing the bumpers, which makes them worth some more points. Uh, do that a couple more times. You get to advance the orange special without having to knock down the drop targets. Now, I can't remember how you advance the bonus multiplier on this game. ABC. This is uh, ABC, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Know. you. Yeah. Okay, so just one more target to advance. Oh, you've got it. you got it. On times yeah, 20 yeah. bonus. Because yeah. the bonus <laughs> multiplier on this goes times 1, times 20, times 40, and times 80. Their, their math is just so interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, timer. Oh, that's right. Oh, now yes, we have the game, the game time bonus. I should probably tell you all about this. So, during the last ball, uh, your 
game time bonus counts up. Now, at the end of your last ball, you're given this many one zero seconds left on the playfield. When that expires, the flippers die, and the game is finally over. As she says. Now, if you drain while your game time bonus is counting down, you get the ball back. So if you're an especially terrible player, you can play your free balls and then play four more in the time it takes for your <laughs> game time bonus to count down. It's a nice little equalizer. Okay, but so these yeah. players won't, uh, won't have that happen. Probably not. Many, many points for that top ramp. Oh, just, a, so just a hair too slow there. I want to see a good out lane safe there. Okay, so 27 seconds. Well, they're slightly less than seconds. 27 units of time on his game time. Yeah. What are seconds in Italy anyway? I think they're using metric seconds. Right? Metric seconds, yeah. all right. You see, this is why I like working on these games, because it's the only chance I get to use my metric tools. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four metric seconds left. That's not even going to get all the way up to the top of the... There we go. Now, speaking of the shooter lane, uh, I'm going to draw your attention to this. Um, all the Zacharia games, after about the, the very early 80s, used this, this metal uh, elevated shooter lane, and that gives them a lot more room on the playfield. It essentially turns every game into not quite a wide body, but pretty close to a wide body for not having to make it any wider at all. It's a good design. Yeah. A lot of Zacharia things were uh, just really nicely fought out. And how many of these uh, things were stolen by uh, Bally mm -hmm. and Williams and Gottlieb oh, later well, on? I mean, just, uh, for example, in the head, putting the, the key uh, sorry, putting the lock for the back glass in the middle of the head. Uh, Williams weren't doing that until the 90s. Um, having a headphone socket in the game. Jersey Jack started doing that in, when was Wizard of Oz come out? That was like uh, 2012, 2013, yeah. something like that. Yeah, a lot of things in Zacharia games other manufacturers would end up copying decades later. Oh, oh, another Sanders ramp shot there. Ramped out in. And okay. Yeah, things are looking good for Alexander here. Yeah. Now let's 48. see that ramp shot. It feeds right into the middle of the paw bumpers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah, you made a great shot. Here's your reward. Good yeah. luck. Well, it can come out uh, Ooh. two different ways, and they both go into the pop bumpers. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Game time bonus counting down. 54 on the clock. Ah, oh, Dr. Zekel is alive. He has knocked down all of the drop targets, and now if he makes it up that ramp, that's 300,000 points just for one ramp shot. Can he do it before time elapses? I got the a orange table is up. Yeah. Sorry, you've got a question? Yeah, okay, i got a question in the chat room. Maybe you know the answer for what is the main processor in these? Oh, uh, I do not know the number off the top of my head. I believe it's a Signetics processor, uh, but I know that no other game uses this. And they are very, very hard to come by these days. So, Signetics, uh, something or other. Your magic is over. Beautiful score. 3,171,000 points. But still, Ugh. Chris is still very much in the game when he got a 5 yep. million point shot. <laughs> yeah, right Just go yeah. get the red special and win. How do I get the yeah. red special? Is that? I don't even know how to, how to advance that. Oh, wait, red special. It's those ones? Yeah, and these knock ones. down magic, knock oh down castle, goodness. shoot the ramp. Just knock down magic and knock down castle five times and then shoot the ramp. That's four. That's five million points right there. I have to do that five times? Yep. Oh, easy. You can do it. Let's do this. I like that shot a lot. It feels good. Now, we had a, a Zachary. Oh, you, you got, got it. it. <laughs> nice. Oh, ole. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Now, well, we've got to lit back up again. I was about I'm to say, the lights off. How do you relight it? But you did. The targets, I guess? Yeah. Oh, what do we aim for? Everything's so deadly. Now, uh, how many points are on your orange special right now? Can you see? Uh, no. 30,000 on the orange special. Yeah. Over on the right hand side, yeah. Okay. Okay. 30,000 points for hitting that. Is that what I'm aiming for then? Well, uh, not, you're, not down the by, you're down by you're down by 2.7 million. So if you think 30,000 yeah, so is going to get you there, go for well, it. Well, just do it a bunch of times. Yeah, got to do it over and over again. Yeah. 
Oh, oh just a little Chris. too early. I got, I got a little excited. I had I'm high blue. hopes, Chris. Alexander with a monster first game there. Oh, uh, wonderful. Oh, you still got oh, the game time bonus. bonus time. Said, you got a whole count me out 15 metric seconds of game time uh, bonus. I'm counting you out. You're not coming back. If you do, I'll buy you a boss in a market. Two, hold your, hold your breath. one. It's over. Now, let's see where it says Alexander's at magic was the best on that game. I'm Alexander, okay. you are okay. <laughs> Who's got two thumbs and is okay? Alexander. <laughs> this guy's okay. <laughs> Somebody Thank else you. that is Thanks. okay. Well, more than okay. Comet Pinball. Comet Pinball has the largest selection of lighting products for your pinball machines. LEDs can brighten up your games while reducing heat and power consumption. Whether you're a collector, operator, restorer, or mod maker, you'll always find low prices, fast shipping, and great service with Comet Pinball. Check them out at facebook.com slash Comet Pinball. Twitter.com slash Comet Pinball or Instagram.com slash Comet Pinball. Good stuff. All right. All right. So, so you're gonna play again. Chris is gonna start us up this time. Yeah, we're gonna okay. we're gonna try to get another one of this one. Welcome to Dracula's Magic Castle. Man, it's like Rocky's inviting me. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> now there are potentiometers on the soundboard to adjust the uh, the sound the volume of the sound effects and the voice separately. There's also a potentiometer to affect the pitch of the voices. Wasn't there one of these uh, while oh, we were working nice. on during replay that, uh, or before replay that you were having an issue with? With the sound kept going off for random reasons? or Oh, I think that was a motor show. That was picking up the local AM radio stations. <laughs> hey, hey, so no, I I, I've got this shot. light lit right here. Does that mean that yeah, that target's you, worth 100000 That's right. You've advanced the orange special. Oh! 100000 and he lives. Nice. Now, if you'd care to advance it again, uh, you can get, uh, I can't read that from it, 200000 200000 yep. Yeah. Looks like one, Woo! two, or one, two, that. three, four, five, and then a million. Oh boy! Yep, you can do that uh, horseshoe three times, or you can knock ah. down the orange drop targets at the top. Hmm. Now, with that unusual bonus multiplier, str oh, that was rude. Uh, I hate when that happens. Can Sounds bonus get big bonus. if you can get it up to the eighty? No. <laughs> Not really, no. This, this is why they give you such uh, enormous bonus multipliers, because uh, Zachariah's bonus itself is rather, rather tight. All right. Let's take a minute here and talk a little bit about Zachariah. They were uh, based out of Bologna, Italy. They were a pinball and arcade ma machine manufacturer from 1974 to 1990. They did make some some video games, uh, some rather interesting little video yeah, games. Yeah, they had... Uh, they. I uh, had other game, uh, other people's games that they made for their own, but they did create some original content. Yeah. Uh, they made at least 47 different pinball machines, though some of that count as uh, the same machine with just different names. Yeah. Like During their uh, best time, they were the third largest manufacturer in the world behind Valley and Williams. That's right. And then um, later on, they. Uh, changed to Mr. Game in 1988 and well, that was when we started making the really interesting games with the <laughs> yes. uh, video screams video screens in the head uh, I can't wait to our motor show episode oh yeah that's gonna be wonderful or or if we can get uh, Alexander to bring his other Mr. Ga uh, Mr. Game Mac attack Mac, Mac attack, attack yes <laughs> yeah I've only ever seen a motor show uh, Matt Spratt asking, wait, Mr. Games used radio signals? Uh, no, but basically any uh, any bit of metal that isn't grounded is an antenna. And uh, if something goes open on a soundboard, sometimes you can just pick up the local radio through them. Um, at, uh, at the convention center, I believe that there is a uh, transmitter for the local sports talk radio station. So I'll get underneath of... Um, Uh, certain games and then just listen to them. Mm. I think we have some more uh, questions in the chat here. What, what have we got in here? Let's see. Love it. Got it. That was sweet. 
All right, so I got this guy. I wonder if okay. any Papa facility has ever snagged a Sega Enterprises table. Never uh, see very much about those. Uh, the, the Japanese Sega machines. No, we never did get one of the uh, Japanese uh, Sega machines. We have several of the uh, the American uh, Sega division, which would... Uh, uh, the one that uh, was brought out used to be Data East, then became Sega, then became Stern. Or Ooh, was it man, Sega, then Data amazing? East, then Stern? I can't remember. Uh, but no, we've never had a... Uh, a Japanese pinball machine. I think it was the other way. I think it was oh. Dead East, then Sega, then Star. Yeah, you're right. Mm. But I do know that those uh, those oh. Sega, uh, <laughs> sorry, the Japanese Sega pinball machines it open up uh, quite me. a lot like the old Bally's, uh, where the uh, the lockdown bar and the glass come up as one unit. Huh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. And that's all I know about them. I mean, I've, I've never played them. I've got a couple of pachinko machines, which are interesting little devices. But I never played a Japanese pinball. Um, Jared Stevens asking in the chat, when are you going to do South Park? Um, we skipped that episode for setup for Cleveland because uh, the uh, rig and the games needed to get up there earlier than uh, we expected. Uh, because that episode was themed around football, uh, we'll either bring it back uh, around the playoffs or the Super Bowl or sometime then. Ooh. But we were really excited about this episode because these games are so rare. And yeah. Well, Jake's doing all right. This game is a lot more exciting than South Park anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's the orange special advanced. He's got his He's orange special drop target up, there. up. See, the ball just bounced off behind it there. Can he knock it down? That's 100,000 points if he gets it. Behind it again. Oh, and dear. And see, it, it does knock down your, your orange special drop target for you. <laughs> they thought of everything. Not bad for uh, three brothers that uh, started out owning a bar and then making pinball. Yep. This game was from uh, 1984. 84, was it? Oh, yeah. I do apologize. Yeah. For oh, he's got oh, it. Oh, lovely. Oh, that could have just rolled through the end lane and then he hit the ramp with a combo. That would have been. That's why this kid's so good. <laughs> Ah, it went all the way over on the ramp there. Now, you do actually get different amounts of points if you make it uh, all the way to the right of the ramp, as opposed to just coming off in the middle. I believe there are three sets of micro switches at the back there. And we can't see them from here. And again, lovely. I mean, having, having the skill to keep the ball in play, if you can continue to do that, you just, you've made that an inline. Yep. Now, I believe uh, going up the ramp relights the uh, the in lane save, out lane save, flip save. Or is it knocking? Yeah, it's knocking down any set of drop targets or making the ramp. Let's relit that. Even that looked dangerous when he held on to yeah. it. Uh, react save, that's what it's called. <laughs> that laugh is awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Alexander, are you going to get that red special for us, mate? Well, I'll try. Oh, you got the orange? He's got the ADX. Yeah. Oh. What a ball, though. Wonderful. And that can be three million on ball one. Three and a half. Near enough. Oh, man. So that's how you do it, right? Okay, final ball. So every other switch hit will add a couple of seconds to the game time bonus. So it's at 13 seconds now. 14. <laughs> now you have Beautiful. to hit, you have to hit switches. You notice he has it trapped up right now, yeah. and the timer has stopped. You don't get anything for just holding it there. 
where you don't get anything for flailing it around the playfield, not touching anything. Yeah, get it into the bumpers. That'll get you a yeah, whole trying, bunch I'm of trying, game time trying. bonus. Oh boy, I mean, that's points not the don't matter. So oh, 17 metric seconds on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are you going to do, do with do your you 17 need a technician? seconds? Uh, not uh, much. Well, we have to wait for the game to try to kick the ball out. There we go. Now the clock starts counting down as soon as the ball is out of the uh, out of the uh, trough. Stop there. Five left. There we go. So you got to get it up the shoot One, lane as quickly zero. as you can. Jake is up. What are you gonna do, Jake? Um. I'm still trying to <laughs> get all those blue targets down and trying okay. to get the ramp up, but uh, yeah, I might throw it up into the pop some just to get some. You t talk about game time bonus and all. Uh, me, I would get distracted just by looking at the artwork on this game. It's, oh, it's really beautiful. good, too. No, the Zachariah games in particular, the artwork has held up really, really well. I mean, I don't know what they were using, uh, what sort of inks or dyes they were using in their playfields, but it hasn't faded a now, bit. these playfields, they don't wear either, right? Are these the plastic playfields? Uh, now, I believe they were using a, uh, a poly uh, finish rather than a lacquer, which is what the other manufacturers were using around this time. Okay. That's a pretty good ball here by Jake. Yeah, it's looking promising. 37 and on the clock already. After uh, having all his magic wear out, we've uh, got Chris back over here in the booth. <laughs> yeah, that was very, very magical. What can I say? I, I tried. So if you get like a game like this in a tournament, does it does it bother you? No. or? Oh. It would only bother me to the point where I wouldn't know how to take advantage of how I can play this game. Like, I know what my skill sets are and how I can use that to my advantage whenever I'm playing, but it's just it's just hard. Oh, dear. Do you need a technician, Jake? I don't know. I might. Hey, we might. Oh, wait. Yep. Maybe we'll get another try here. Use the there magic. We there use we magic. Well done. Yeah, he seems to be having some problems getting the ball out of the trough. Don't we so, all? So keep the ball in place so we don't have to deal with that. That's exactly. Right. <laughs> My orange thing, if I can hit it. Yeah, I really like the. I, I like that horseshoe, but man, that return oh, scared me every time. Yeah. It like would fire down the out lane, and I would get lucky enough, and it would come to my flipper on a trap. Oh. Oh. oh my it's magic is over. over. Well, you, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the clock's going to run out. Having it run out with below the flippers is a good yeah. place as any. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's uh, it's going to get there eventually, right? You know, Colin, Colin hasn't had too much luck on his first two balls, but hey, with a five million point shot in the game, that would be. I really hope we can see that, even with a glass off. Mm. Like that's how hard it is, in my opinion. But that was. Um, they used Robot in a uh, classic bank once at Papa, and it was fun watching everyone try to figure out, okay, where are the points? And then mm. I don't think Robot had on it what these specials were worth until somebody finally got the 5 million point special, and then and everybody's like, strategy changed. Yep. It's only, funny how that knowledge... put those labels on like uh, last year. Yeah. Yeah, but somebody's score went from uh, two million to seven million. Like, and people's Ooh. eyes just lit up. Like, what happened? Yeah, good stuff. Oh, Play that bonus, bonus ball. Bonus. And barring a tilt through or a disqualification, looks like Alexander will win this one as well. Again, man, the king of the Zacharias. That kid is magic. I'm telling you. So I wonder what he's going to go for on his final ball. I mean, obviously, I actually want to see him just score as many points as possible. Well, see, that's the neat thing about Papa TV. We can make him go for whatever we want. Yeah. Let's, let's just let him do his thing. Oh, we could there ask him. There you go. All right, Alexander. Hey, Alexander. Yes. What are you going to do? Um, I, I like to go for the ABC, get your bonus multipliers up. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, that's one thing I wasn't focusing on. I feel like I should have. Yeah, now, a thing to know about the ABC is you see how the uh, in lanes are alternating? 
B, B, the C, the C. Yeah, oh, B, man, he, that was a rough yes. drain down the center, too. This is what I wanted to show you. He wanted to yeah, show the outlines here, here whenever they're lit. Uh, those alternates and uh, roll over one of those. It will spot one of your ABC targets for you. Oh. The hour of okay. magic Still an excellent is score. over. A very good score. Very nicely done. Nicely done. Very good. You are All just right. okay. Man, this game just doesn't know goodness when it sees it. Well, you need a grand champion score to get great. But the wait is over. A revolution in LED lighting for your pinball is finally here. Fully customizable, full spectrum lighting from Pin Stadium Lights. Order yours now at pinstadium.com. And thank you to Penn Stadium for sponsoring Papa TV. Uh, their lights look great in everything. You could put them in Magic Castle or our next game, Aerobatics. Uh, while they're setting up for it, we'll talk a little bit about the Cleveland Pinball Open. Uh, mm -hmm. How did your uh, weekend go in Cleveland, Chris? My weekend went very well. Uh, I basically, it was my first time ever in the Cleveland Pinball Open, so I was very excited to go and just be a part of the show in general. Um, I was very impressed with just how nicely designed i kind of felt like everything was i went i walked around i, I got fudge i played some <laughs> games i got to see some rare games that i actually haven't played at papa before and then i got to play in the tournament which was nice um didn't get the qualifying classics but i wanted to focus on main although the classics bank was incredible <laughs> so i really wish i would have had more time to dedicate to it and then uh, i was able to qualify main got through a couple rounds but got uh eliminated in the elite eight Still pretty solid. Yeah, there were some tough playing games. That jackpot did me in. Um, if you haven't seen yet, the winner of Maine was Luke Nahorniak. The winner of Classics was Drew Sedolia. Mm -hmm. And the women's winner was Leah Gusheyev. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, but uh, you're a champion, so people will bow about you soon oh, if definitely. they don't already. Um, if you haven't seen any of the coverage, check it out. We'd like to thank uh, both uh, Keith Elwin and Jeff Teolis for uh, lending some assistance throughout the weekend and being part of the broadcasts. Mm -hmm. Another event that was going on during that time was the Northwest Pinball Championships. Uh, Robert Gagne was the winner of Maine. Will McKinney was the winner of Classics. Mm -hmm. They had a high-stakes event that Carl D'Angelo won, and Hannah Hatch was the winner of the women's event. And talking about pinball and events that are coming up, Next stop for us is the Pittsburgh Pinball Open. Woo. That's right. Now, when is that again? That it's is coming this up. Month, right? uh, first weekend of October, October oh. 3rd through October 6th. Oh, that's creeping up. Oh, it's yeah. right there. Yeah. I already have off work for it, so I'm set. They haven't <laughs> got you working on the games for it? Yep. <laughs> oh, Thankfully, oh a lot of these games have recently been shopped out for uh, replay FX. So Any hints about what going. games are going to be in it? No. <laughs> that could be a surprise. Rocky and Bullwinkle? I don't know. I don't uh, think so. Magic Castle? No. Oh. Shame. Upcoming broadcasts next week. We get three more Solid State Fine games. Meteor, Tri-Zone, and Harlem Globetrotters. And speaking about bank reveals, October 1st, we will reveal the PPO Women's Bank with a broadcast. Ooh. That should be a lot of fun. And then, um, uh, I don't think those... Those dates might be right. Uh, whatever weekend the Pittsburgh Pinball Open is, there will be coverage of some of the events. We'll definitely be doing part of the main finals. Okay. Uh, I have the right wrong dates wrote down here. But <laughs> <laughs> but those are but the dates, yeah. and that's we'll what we're doing. It's going to be exciting. I'll look over to the producer yeah. and get to see the thumbs up. We're going to do classic and main. Maybe. He doesn't know. Well, there'll be coverage. Okay. It, de it depends how it's going. But hey, look at that. It just changed yeah. magically. Yeah. There oh, we go. Yay. <laughs> That's what I thought. I have a but but with, the, with the Papa TV, that tri zone, is that an ordinary tri zone? Uh, we don't actually have a tri zone. We do have a tri zone, but well, it's we not a tri zone. zone. We have a tri zone that is not a tri zone. It's That's a tri zone. Right. Uh, explain this tri zone for me if you would like. Or so is, it gonna is, be, uh, is it going to be a surprise? Do we want to make it a surprise? We can make it let's, a surprise. Let's see what the producer says. Thumbs up surprise or. Did we well, let's just do it. I, I'm, I'm I'm excited about it. But so basically, this tri zone is a Simon Says yeah. tri zone, right? Yep. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can get a 
uh, Chris Eddy to come on next week and talk about what he did for it. But oh, he, cha yeah, he changed the code for the game, and oh. it plays like Simon, where a light will blink, and you need to shoot that one. If you get it, another one will blink, and, and, and see how far you can get. It'll still score points if you're missing, but to score substantially, yeah, you want to hit yeah. the lit shot. So it's a control player's dream. Well, mate, he did more than uh, just rewrite the code. He, com he, he completely made, changed it. Well, he made a new MPU board for that game. It's running on a completely different uh, system there. That man's a genius. I love talking to him about it, too. He's, he's a great guy. And now we got oh, aerobatics. aerobatics. This yes. is a 1977 EM. Now, and did you notice that those bumpers were flashing just then? Yes. Yeah. You not want like, that, don't not, you? Not with blinker bulbs either. They were both flashing at the same time. Now, that's because there's a little board in there, a uh, little solid state board with like a rectifier and ICs on it and everything just to make those blink. Really? Yeah, that's Are right. there that's other wild. lights that blink on this game? Uh, there are uh, like blinker the bulbs thing? in the head, but okay. uh, whenever you see the all of the lights flashing in sequence, that's uh, because there's a little PCB that's, that's in That's the there. board. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know that. I thought it was just the okay. turning them on and turning off again, and that's how the game was. And now we have the fun part of the game that Jake just hit. You could see right here there is a light that says bonus ball that was lit that when Jake shot it. What does the bonus ball do? Okay, so uh, this game was originally designed as an addable game. And if you look in the head, you can see where it says uh, balls to play. Rather Maybe than we balling. can get uh, our producer to zoom out on the back glass yeah, there so we, we can, can see below it. Have a look down there. Well, Maybe not. Oh, we got a special. Oh, we got the special. You want the special. Now, the special isn't actually hooked up to anything right now. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's worth <laughs> zero points. The special, you want it, the special does nothing, I'm afraid. Things are flashing. Now. There we there go. go. So he's got four, four balls, balls to play. play. Yeah. So this was originally an addable machine. This is the replay version of the addable game. Oh. But they didn't change the back glass. Uh, they just uh, left that as though it were an addable game. Okay. But in addition to it being an addable game, there's also a bonus ball, which works like Aye. the extra ball in a replay game. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, so there's two different ways of uh, getting extra balls. So Increasing your number of balls left to play and uh, not decreasing the uh, <laughs> number of balls you have to play. So did, did he actually get an extra ball for that then? Like no, extra I balls are also disabled. Oh, then, so he got Sorry. nothing. Yes. Yeah, we yeah had you nothing. get nothing. I did roll over a beautiful flashing one. We had a little bit of yeah. fun with this because, um, well, Dan did the work to disable the bonus ball, and then mm. people were coming over and said, we got a pass through. And it kept happening, and it's like, what's going on here? Nice, and we nice figured shake. out it was awarding extra balls, but there's no light to tell you that it was awarding an extra ball. It just uh. looked like a legitimate pass-through. Yep. So uh. then Dan worked his magic. and I stuffed a bit of business card in between a couple <laughs> of contacts. <laughs> 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 Whose business card is which it? Is which, is, which is Dan's special magic. <laughs> That's right. Okay, um, Matt the Sprat uh, has a question. I don't quite understand add a ball as a thing. Why do you like to explain it? Oh. Ah, um, you okay. want to take, I, I can take this one if you want. Go for it. All right. So for an add a ball game, it counts down the number of balls in play. So typically, if an EM is five balls, instead of starting off on ball one, you will start off with five balls left to play. Every time you would drain a ball, it would count down. So five, then four oh. balls to play, then three balls to play, then two balls to play. But any time you get an extra ball it would count up one. So you would still be playing whatever ball you were on, but then that number would increase. So that once you drain that ball, it would then kick the ball out, go down one to basically the one you were currently playing on. So you basically got an additional ball. Now, what was the reasoning behind creating games like this? Well, um, it was partly a legal thing, because in some jurisdictions, replays uh, were not permitted. Uh, it also let you rack up more than one extra ball at a time. Uh, in a replay-based electromechanical game, uh, say you did whatever it was, you rolled over all your bunch of features and you got an extra ball. If you then did it again without draining, you would still just have an extra ball. You wouldn't get 
two extra bowls. And that was an incredible game. It, you might not think he did much, but he did a lot she of good things right. Good. And hopefully we can get the producer to put a nice, lovely uh, like Jake is our thing current on leader the at 2.6 yeah. million. You know what? I'm going to bet some Boston market that that's going to stay because that's mm. an impressive I game. think you're going to lose it right here. <laughs> now, <did you? laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Mm. Yep. There are a couple of things about this machine that I wanted to bring your attention to. Firstly, look how many score reels there are. I mean, yikes, have you ever seen an EM count up that high? <laughs> million point EM? Yeah, it's a million point EM. Yeah, so there's uh, five Ow! score reels and the two on the end are fake. Uh, also, what do you hear? Nothing. Nothing, no chimes. So these things originally came with a little soundboard in there. Uh, but they were terrible, and so the operators took them out and sometimes replaced them with chimes and sometimes replaced them with nothing. This particular instance of aerobatics is a horrible Frankensteinian nightmare. And <laughs> I can't even find the wires where the soundboard used to plug in. Like, there's, there's not even, like, a hole where it should be. Whoa. So. But, yeah, Matt the Sprat saying... Uh De deactivating the chimes really works for this game. It gives it a spitfire sound. Uh, mm. When you hit that spinner, it just sounds great. Oh, yeah. Also, you hear how fast the score motor is running. Yeah. Like when it's counting up points or when it's uh, going in between balls. That's because oh, that's a... Gee. Yeah, no. you hear how quick that is. No, that is a 50 hertz <laughs> score motor being run on 60 hertz electricity. All right. There is a path there that he could have uh, brought the ball back in. That's really tough. But Yeah, I really want to see it. If anyone is able to get that on camera, Boston Market. Oh, 1.6. No, like, like I said, this is a hard game. Like, it I struggle is. to get 1.6. Well, you'll have your turn, too. Oh, I know. Now, Colin stepping up. Now, another cool thing I noticed accidentally while we were playing this is let's just have Colin play ball one. But watch this not work. And I'll, be, I'll okay. feel kind of bad. So let's let's call him. Let's watch. See what he does. He nudges. He loses the ball. Okay. So now it's gonna count down to four. Now call it. Turn the machine off. Oh. <laughs> oh, that game was terrible. I want to start. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. It's still on the same ball. <laughs> now I think that has something to do with but our it Frankenstein, doesn't it? Oh, uh, possibly. It what? He uh, tilted through. Yeah, I tilted. Why did you tilt? Oh, you tilted through, so that was your no, fault. It, when you turn the machine off and oh, I don't feel when it comes then. back on again, it will be in tilt. It will? Yeah. Hmm. No, no, he, it was in tilt before he started, he said. Colin, oh, did you it? tilt through? I, I tilted. I don't okay, know tilted well, now, now, we need to, now we need to experiment. So this game's just garbage. Just plunge and drain, and then turn it off. Wait, no, plunge. Yeah, I can say plunge it, drain it. Let's see here. Oh, man. His plunge, we'll give you a redo. His plunge is okay. better than his first ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an inlet. Oh, maybe not. Oh, could okay. I get that we'll special? Okay. Up. okay so All right. So now, now it's just go ahead, turn, turn it off. It, turn it off and on again. Yeah, yeah you have two balls. Come back yeah, in give tilt. it a second. They always come back in tilt. It is not in tilt. What? <laughs> Press the flipper button. Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, shows what I know, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> on a normal game, it, it's, uh, it's a lot of EMs do do that, yeah, but this thing does that. This thing does it. Oh, man. The game is constantly changing and evolving. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So so Jake Jake is saying that if this is on the Pinberg stage and the power goes out, you could still play. I mean, yeah. after it, once it comes back on, everyone's all upset that everything else didn't work or, or at, at any at any facility or competition. If the power were to go out, this one would be okay. Or maybe is that just this? Oh, back in, back is in. Is that no. just this uh, this Frankenstein version? That is probably just this Frankenstein version. So well, this particular machine has a history. Well, you need to figure out how you did that because that should be on every machine. I know, right? I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> patent it. So That'd be perfect. The first uh, entry in the logbook for this game because all of our games have logbooks. Uh, we all the techs always write down what they did to the game uh, in case we do something horribly wrong. How many, how, okay, I'm curious. I, I, I didn't know this, but how many logbooks are there in total? Do you know? Uh, one for every game, so yeah. about 600 logbooks. Oh, shit. All right, so sorry, Con continue. So the very first page is me uh, warning future technicians. <laughs> that, uh, so this was an Italian game that got exported to the UK. Okay. Uh, you'll notice on the... On the front of the game, there are 5p and 10p uh, coin inlets. So, Italian game, 
exported to the UK. It was wired up backwards at the factory. It was wired so that the uh, so the, the power switch interrupted the neutral side of a circuit. Okay. So interrupting the blue wire rather than the brown the one. The brown one. Then we got to the UK, and the English pulled every fuse and replaced them all with 30 amp fuses. Why would the English do that? I don't know. This Englishman wouldn't do that, but these <laughs> English people did do that. <laughs> then it got back to the US, and the Americans wired it up backwards again. So backwards from how it was wired up backwards in the first place. Now, you would think that wiring it up backwards twice would cancel each other out. Yeah, right. But it doesn't because the colors are wrong. So they had uh, the switch interrupt to the other side. Oh, I, I forget how it was wired up now. But it was wired up wrong twice. And so there's a little thing in the notebook saying, Aww. right, this is oh, what the brown close. wire does. And yeah. I really wish that you could you could bring that out and, and showcase it. I want I want to hear <laughs> exactly word for word what your uh, what your entry said. Uh, maybe one day. <laughs> anyway, I, I want to play this thing at some point. Oh, yeah. yeah everyone I'll, here will get their oh, turn to okay. play this. We're okay. gonna pl we're gonna I'll, have I'll everybody play. As you can see, Pete is stepping up. And, oh, you uh, want to get the book out? We're, we're getting the book out. Pete is going to play. Uh, Pete, don't put the book on camera, or if you do, use your fingers to cover up the cursing. <laughs> pro there's always a lot of cursing in these books. <laughs> and we've got, uh, we now have Jake joining us in the booth. Jake, how are you? I'm Hi, good. Jake. How was your first couple of games? Uh, well, I almost did something on Magic Castle. What'd you do? What'd you do? You well, did. I was like three times I was one target away from... Ah, oh, really? Yeah. That's oh. the closest I ever got. Yeah. I haven't gotten close on that. Yeah. I kept shooting it up into the pop pumpers since I couldn't hit the target myself. All right. It's so hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the interesting thing about that game is I've never played it before. I mean, I actually I have, but not mm. to the point where it's like, I'm going to play this over and over and learn it in case it's in future yeah, tournaments. Because right. usually I spend a lot of time on games where I think I might need to know how to play this whenever I'm playing against somebody. And uh, and I'm sorry, but Magic Castle isn't one of them. <laughs> no, we, just, we don't tend to put Zachary right. games well, in tournaments. Okay, so I'm this going to or go ahead, Pete. Go, Pete. I mean, this is something you need to learn because if you get in a tournament with Alexander and it's there, he's going to put you on it. That's yeah. true. <laughs> I'm used to playing against obscure and rare titles against Alexander, so it, there it was one uh, makes it interesting, in my opinion. There was one final where John got to be the top seed, and he just went weird on everybody. And it wasn't and too weird. I mean, he picked like. Uh, oh. Golden eye and stuff. Hmm. Well, anyway, I, I have in my hand Game the log power. Book. <laughs> the log book. <laughs> from Ariabatics. From Dan oh, and, and all the uh, all the text. Is this all the text right here? I'm the only one who goes in Zachary games. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so the reason Steve doesn't go in the Zachary games is because it begins with a Z and that's the end of the alphabet. All right, so I'm, you, I'm you going. Got to I'm going to try my best. To we just started from the beginning. I'm yeah. going <laughs> to start with the bellies. <laughs> I'm going to try my best and uh, translate this to everybody. It starts off with mains wiring. This game uses British wire colors. There's a U in there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> as there should be. <laughs> and then it says, then he's got he's got like a, a table here. It's it's British. Function U.S. equivalent. So British brown, U.S. equivalent black, function hot. Yes. Then British blue, U.S. equivalent white, function neutral. Yes. And then British green slash yellow, U.S. green, function ground. Yeah. Now it's brown, blue, and green with yellow stripe in most of the world. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that 10x PD. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So <laughs> and then uh, and on the bottom it says... Cabinet is wired correctly as of August 2016. If changing plug in, if changing plug in future, put brown wire on brass tab, blue on silver. Is that to make it because you think that they would switch it and it would yes. be bad? Yes. Um, oh, there's a whole other page. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I can see why you said you wanted to cover up the curse words. <laughs> uh, August 2016, cabinet was wired up backwards by, what's the name of the company? Zacharia. Thank you. In Italy, <laughs> then sent to England. The British pulled all the fuses and replaced them with 30 amp, and he underlined 30. must be important. Then sent yeah. the game to America, where the... <laughs> Yanks. 
were the, the Yanks. The bloody Yanks. Why oh, are they <laughs> backwards <laughs> again? Corrected expletive. <laughs> Expletive wiring <laughs> installed correct fuses. We really need a, a, a tone generator. Installed, so we can just be like yeah, installed need second need coin mech black and white patch wires for same denomination. There was a 5p coin plate hiding in there. Use that for extra British flavor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry, flavor. I mean, it's <laughs> based on the, the Spitfires, so. No, the red arrows. Sorry, yeah, the, the British ones, yeah. <laughs> All right. Come so on, get the, the oh, there it is! Oh, there it is! He Boston Boston Boston. You got your spin out letters Boston Boston. Boston. Jim. for Jim. Now, if no one else does it, then it's all yours. But you got—you still got to come in first place there, bud. That's where the where, where the real winner is. Yeah, that spinner. It's lit up. It's, it's lit. flashing. It's flashing. That's even better. Oh, it stopped flashing. <laughs> Sorry. And then uh, on the end, it just says uh, cleaned wax, new ball, disabled bonus ball by putting card between hold points on bonus ball relay, new coil sleeves on flippers, filed action contacts, and vacuum the cabinet. So you put a little bit of love in this game. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we always we always give them a little down love. Nice. That's too. pretty good. Especially when we're going in a top. They get a lot of love then. And, uh, well, we kind of strayed away from the fine gameplay here, but James, <laughs> James here, is, uh, he's doing all right. Yeah, th this is still the first ball, yeah. right? Yeah, he's got five he's balls on, to play. He still has five balls to play, including this one, and he is... He's now on B. He, he really... B. He needs to get yeah. that 10x bonus. Now, the uh, the flashing, uh, that's on a timer. Really? Yeah. How, how long? I don't know. Does it like give you extra points? Is that Frankenstein, or is that or normal? No, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. That's awesome. Uh, so it's actually a... Uh, Oh, it's a, a capacitor uh, resistor timing mm. system. And it's amazing because it looks like James is doing everything right. This is just another inlay. Yeah, James is doing great. I'm I'm gonna get in and play this. For he now. knows whenever he knows whenever there's Boston Mark involved. I'm always in for the Boston. He's always Mark. in. I'm sweating. Oh man, I'm and. Sweating. Uh, it looks like the, the next player is going to oh, step up to the back. Don't go in there. Don't do it. <laughs> don't you do it. Well, anyway, we've got, uh, we've got Sir Dan, who's going to be up after uh, this amazing game is over. And we've got Pete in the booth. Pete, welcome back. Thanks. Yeah, well, let's give Dan a chance. I mean, he knows these games so well. Let's see how he can play them. I, I really hope. My money's he, on him. I, I, I mean, I still don't think James is going to beat uh, 2.6. I think he is. I don't, I don't think yeah. he is. We were talking about the uh, artwork on uh, Magic Castle. This game is not too bad either. No, this game's got great artwork. Yeah, and it's it's been beautiful shape. It just it looks great. So this was my fun fact from Zachariah. Oh, tell Research me. Research is the guy that did the artwork on this game also did the artwork Boom. on Magic Castle Again. and on Soccer Kings. and He did a lot of art. On every other Zachariah game. And what was his name? Produced. Uh, <laughs> Good job, Jake. Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you blew it. Nice ball. Nice Not ball. Lorenzo Rimanondi. Oh, man. What a guy. <sighs> Love to get that 10x. Yeah, that 10. I mean, that scoop up top is very, very difficult. Okay, there's a question in the chat room about the uh, scoop at the top. The far left is 10x bonus. That's the big one. Also, is uh, it's on the right. The middle one is advance A, B, C, D, E, which you can see here. Um, That's he had, a lot of it. James errors. got it over to C. And then... He has two balls to play, and he's at 1.8. Well, basically. before you plunge, what are the two blue ones? Because we can't uh, really read them. Special left rollover light, and then special right rollover Okay, light. so that's how the specials are getting lit up really easy. All right. How so do you they mean nothing in our case, because... Our specials, specials are worthless? Are worth oh, yeah. that makes me sad. Oh, that no, was, well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? That, right, was, so that, that was special. That, that cancels out the Boston market. He's back yeah. down to zero. <laughs> Again, yeah, I would have right. definitely yeah. given you Boston okay. market for that one. But you, you tilted, what? so you, oh. you're on your last ball. You need to beat right, one ball two. left. Jim, you need to beat 2.662 2.662. Okay. So I mean, the key to I think the key to this game is the skill shot and getting the 10x. You need I mean you need to get that. And but then have uh, the spinner or uh, 
No! <laughs> Still a 2-1. That's a pretty <laughs> solid game. 2.1. That's so, that's a good score, but we're not going to write it down. Yeah. All right. Jake wrote Just it down. All right. Well, all right. Uh, Dan, we're going to have Dan step up. Uh, we still... Oh, I Hello still have to again. play this game. Am I the last one? You are. I don't want to be the last one. You're last. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Seems like it's, uh... All right, Dan. Okay, now you think I can play this thing, do you? Yep. I'll just you fix can them, fix mate. it. <laughs> Well, let's see you know how those, uh, you know how about all the end of strokes on these slippers and all the oh, sweet all spots right. and look at that you knew where the plunge he was. He knew where the plunge was. Oh, that's yeah. he'll he'll miss it every after other read the ball now. He knows all where both in lanes <laughs> are. Ten X bonus already got. How do you get the ten X so quick? Oh, oh. tilted. It. it doesn't matter. Not when you tilt. A little bit hard to yeah, move the, there. So the A B C D E. Uh, originally gave uh, extra balls or replays uh, oh. when you got to certain points in it. That's why that's why it thinks that that's a big deal, but <laughs> obviously in tournament play it isn't. So A, B, C, D in, is just w worthless. Yeah. yeah it looks good, though. It for, uh, Can I say? Say? Give me extra balls at uh, C or D or whatever. A, B, C, D, E on this game is for um, dollar games. Yeah, yeah, right. First one to E wins. Yeah, I like it. The one who can get the furthest. Oh, I know what we're doing after hours tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that! Oh, that just oh, lit, oh, oh, that was rough. That was okay. that was terrible. It like lipped out and then <laughs> went right down the center on him. Oh. I actually had to play this for Pinburg this year, and uh, I actually won it. I oh, won the nice. game. I, I I won the round. I won the game. I think it was on my last round. So and, close. And, and everyone that I played against had a decent score, and I, I stepped up, and I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing on this game. But the, I pretended like I did, hoping, <laughs> hoping that they were, like I could just be like, okay, I'm going to psych myself into doing well, right? Just be confident, plunge it. I landed in the scoop, and then I basically just tried my best to get it to the left flipper to hit the spinner. Yeah, I got to play this in a fight club, too, and I tried to do all that same stuff, and I got three specials. <laughs> Worthless. Oh, right down the middle. Oh, is that game over? Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah, means right. now it's time for yeah, you to go. All right. We, you're, okay, the la you're our last hope to beat Jake's 2.6. I, I can't, but I'll do my best. You lie. You can. And we're going to welcome into the booth Alexander Kazmarsik. Hello, everyone. Hey. So you had a pretty good uh, Classics weekend in Ohio, finishing second. Yep, thank you, Pete. Um, do you enjoy playing these older games? or? At first, I really couldn't stand them, but over time, I'm getting <laughs> more used to playing them. It's funny, because he literally sounds just like me, where at first I, I wanted to avoid them, but now I love them. And it was, well, b before, it's like, I'm going to take Alexander to an old game. I may have a chance. <laughs> now it's, uh, I take Alexander to paper, rock, scissors, and I still lose. <laughs> paper, rock, scissors. Who calls it that? <laughs> the Yanks. <laughs> <laughs> pay poor, rock, pay, scissors. Pay power. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to. I tried doing like alley passes and stuff, and it, it seemed to work, but it's really, really hard on these flippers. But that's lit. And well, that's it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you beat 2.6 million. Oh. Come on, come on. Love me. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the start you want. Boom. Oh, boy. Now, I mean, like you saw uh, with me, I got the 10x, but I had yeah. no bonus to go with it right there. Neither did Chris. It's okay. Don't Nothing. It's lit again. It's lit again. But you gotta add, get that bonus pulled oh. up. Oh, that's <laughs> that was a do. bad plunge. Oh, that. I say he hadn't hit anything. Would he got the ball back? But I did. He hit one switch. He hit the outline, and yeah. it didn't matter. But I'm still on balls to play for. What? Yeah. How about Count it. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> oh, it's on, oh because I scored a hundred points. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Can that's I get a rolling? Play on. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Critical malfunction. Come on. Get in, get in the. No. No. Don't hit that target. That's so. No, normal, in a normal tournament situation, we would have dropped that ball into the trough, and if it gave it back to him with four, then it would have been his. But because this is Papa TV and we want Chris to beat Jake, we'll give him another chance. You guys are so nice. Okay. I advanced to A, which is A. Worthless. But that's cool. We need to go back up top because we want that. We want that lovely scoop. This melt is a, that. That's a tight spinner. Melt shot. that spinner. Come on. Oh, it's it's melted. 
so hot. There, I, it, is. there it is. Oh, but it uh, changes it. Oh, oh, did you get it? You oh, did. Boy. Holy cow. It's the Talk roll about perfect timing. All right, now he's got the bonus up to 20,000, so he's got 200,000 in the bank. Every bonus advances another 100,000. All right, so how do I oh, do, that doesn't advance it. What do we want here? I want this target. I see that. Yeah, the right spinner advances it and How about those little cool targets right in the middle? Th does that advance my bonus? I don't know, but Yeah. They're fun to shoot at. I should try them. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, nice. No, oh, that doesn't Okay, th th talking about these two targets right here that say 100,000 each. I can't even hit them. <laughs> They're the hardest hardest targets in the game right here. There's one. There's one, and it's 100,000, so, yeah, that's not a bad. Boom. Okay, so you got all three. They reset, and, and they advance you to B. Okay. So. But I did get 100,000 points, though, so if I can just hit, like, 20 more of those, I win. Yeah. This is a, a interesting strategy. I like it. Okay. Um, Plus, actually, your bonus is up to 30,000 somehow. I don't know if you caught the bonus target or... Points. And lane. Oh, not good. I missed. But you got it. It's under control. It's not under control. Yeah, it's out of control. Don't want to tilt that. No, 400,000. Ooh. Dang. What's my, what's my score to beat? You're pointing two, at it. Six, six, oh. two. <laughs> yeah, two. You got it. Two, six, six, two, 100. All right, look, it's lit again. This is, this is, this is sweet. I wish this happened at Pinburg. So they talk. It never happened. There's some people that talk about EMs oh, being luck boxes. Oh. This could really be a luck box. <laughs> what are you talking about? If it's always Look on 10x skill. when you plunge. Oh, that's that was a miss. Come but on. being that it is a one-player game, it's a controllable luck box. If it's not there, get it there. Oh no 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 no! no. That's not good. Okay. That is. Nope, that's not. Oh wow. <laughs> It's cool because like the the targets that are worth a hundred thousand points don't reset unless you clear them all. So I got this one and this one, but I can't get that little punk. That little. It's goober. like the um, uh, the A and the B on um. Oh come on. Uh, the pool game. Uh, star pool. Star pool. That's it. See, I'm, my mind's so set on target pool and yeah. target pool. All right, we're going for Th it. Oh, I missed it. I missed it again. <laughs> Yeah, that rubber in the middle, not worth anything. Woo! There is 100,000. Hey, Chris. Oh, come on. You know the There's lower, another 100,000. The lower saucer is also on 10x right now. It's what? <laughs> it's on 10x. The lower, the lower saucer was worth 10x because you had spun the spinner. Ooh. So if I hit the spinner, that lights that for 10x? No, no, no. The other spinner. The left spinner. Circles around the multiple values on yeah. the thing. Which one's oh, lit right, right there? Now? Yeah, yeah, see that right there? Ooh. So there's two Man. ways to get it. I am helping you, hey, despite the fact that you're here to ruin Well, just plunge and win. Uh, it's good. Uh, well, it's only 100,000. Yeah, not quite enough. Is it not, not enough? You're not there yet. Uh, you're awfully darn close. You, could you need one? No, you're good. Oh. Yes. So tilt. Mm. <laughs> Because I mean, you're not you're not good until you are good. Yeah. All right, what's the score to beat? Uh, uh, two okay. six six two. Yeah. Six two. I need four Don't thousand. Tilt. I'm sorry. The the score to beat is now four point six <laughs> million. <laughs> Come on. You didn't realize, but James got the bonus points because he's the producer. Oh. So when you shoot that right Look at spinner, that, nudge. Look that at right that spinner nudge. advances the. Uh, Don't go that way. That's count. bad. Good control. No, boy. These slings are so touchy. Yeah. Sensitive. Touchy. Okay. Oh, and three, six, three, oh, seven. That's a good nice. game. All right. And our oh. winner, our winner with a score of 4.6 million, James. Great job by the <laughs> producer. <laughs> Give him the trophy. Go ahead. I don't even want it. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> We have any other players? Is that it? Nope, that's all for that. But Pindigo is the premier social score tracking app for pinball players. Save your scores, follow your friends, compare and compete. Available for iOS and Android. Check it out online at pindigo.app. So if uh, James pu pulled out his phone there, he could put in that 4.6 million score <laughs> and uh, <laughs> show it off to everyone. All thumbs down his feed. <laughs> <laughs>
So we're going to get ready to play some Soccer Kings, and we got a owner of the game in the booth with us right now. Alexander yep. has one of them. Uh, what can you tell us about this game? Um, it's, a, it's a fun, Zachary. Usually what I like to do on it is hit the drop targets up top. Because um, like if you hit the drop targets on the right, that will let your stand up on the right as well, which you can shoot that for the bonus multiplier. Okay. Same for the left. And then it maxes out, I think, at 50 bonus. All right. Um, also shooting the saucer up top feeds the mini, the upper play field, which you can just make a goal for like a hundred thousand. Now, um, there's other, uh, Zacharias that had that upper play field feature. Is it similar to that? Mm, uh, just uh, some of them, not all of them. Okay. Um, which one are you thinking of? Oh, uh, we did that one, uh, the one, um, in the broadcast, uh, saw, or, um, uh, pinball champ had oh, that, right, uh, right, right, right. Had yeah, that, yeah. uh, uh, the drop targets on the upper play field. Right. And the uh, timer-based. Uh, right. Oh, and then your bonus is also the rollovers kind of towards the flippers in the front. A few rollovers up there, those are your bonus. And you can also get bonus from the in-lanes. Okay. So it has a lot of the same elements as other Zacharias and a, a very good common theme, soccer. Um, we are talking about uh, Zachariah apparently liked soccer as a theme because they also had a game that we don't have. But you, you said you were looking for a Mexico 86. <laughs> I think I need to add that to the collection. <laughs> All right. And so we got the, uh, Chris stepping up for a game of Soccer Kings. I really enjoy it today, just so you know. All right. So um, what should he go for off the plunge? Are you um, asking me? you telling me. Oh, wait, oh, yeah. you got Alexander in there? Yeah. Oh, do it. Come on, buddy. Help me out. <laughs> I would use, usually you want to just on, go boys, for the saucer, feed the upper play football. field real quick, get a free shot there. This uh, kick thing? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Now, this game is uh, interesting, and we'll actually uh, put this out as trivia for the chat. How many balls do you think this game has in it? Now, you t are you talking like painted? How many pinballs are in this game? Oh, pinballs. Yeah. yeah all right, we'll see. <laughs> I'm going for multi-ball. Well, okay, so Chris just uh, plunged, and now his trough is empty. One ball. Toss to the center. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, I'm terrible at this game. Is that it? That's it. Oh, fun. Well, you got two more balls. All right, now Dan will step up. So, uh, well, this this play field, uh, it's uh, because it is a soccer theme. The uh, it's a little art, the artwork's a little more simplistic, but it's still pretty good. You got the eleven counters for the eleven players on the team, and the big explosion in the middle. Uh, I remember playing soccer in high school. There was always an explosion in the middle of the play field. <laughs> That's why I didn't play soccer. <laughs> All right. Now, well, something weird happened there. Uh, I jumped from right player three attack. to player four, right but right uh -oh. I don't know what happened there, but okay. We'll watch and see what happens. Um, apparently, I'm player three, and uh, I've lost or won or lo uh, something. Oh. All right. So now, how does he get it to the upper play field? Um, you have to shoot. Um, it's called the attack zone up top. Yeah, the saucer. Mm -hmm. You guys just roll it in there. It'll uh, feed it up to the up top. So there, this uh, shot right up yeah. there will feed Correct. it up to the top and yep. uh, like a up kicker up into the upper play field there. And, Correct. And you use that uh, upper flipper here to get the goal. Shoot goals. All right. This is the one oh, thing. That's I'm not interesting. Player four or player three. <laughs> and it's player, player three now. Ball. So to install the score reels backwards. <laughs> <laughs> the score displays are installed backwards. Good job, Dan. <laughs> Excellent work, Dan. Yeah. You're just nice. a star technician. <laughs> Give this guy a raise. They use this in Pinburg? No. <laughs> <laughs> but that'd be, that'd be an interesting ruling if they did. Uh, thank you to Andrew Bentley for the uh, biddies. Uh, uh, 50 of them. Nice. Thank I you hate for your that support. These upper flippers are at the end of stroke. They're so delayed. Yeah, if you're going to use the upper flippers, you have to plan ahead. Oh, right, uh, they want you to attack, James. Attack 
He, he shoots. Nice. He scores. Yes. Best upper play field in pinball. <laughs> <laughs> Now this game, I see an orange and a red, so this game must have orange and red specials as well. How do you get them? Is it going to go to player one, or is it going to go to some other random player, Dan? Oh, player one. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's one thing I'm not sure on, P. I never really dug into how to get the red and the orange on it. Okay. Every time you advance, every time you score advance. a goal, you make progress towards the red. I know that. Okay. Um, okay, so that'd be similar to. Uh, Ah, uh, well, that was a house ball. It'd be similar to a pinball champ and clearing clearing the letters at the top. Right. There is um, also a way you can stockpile and kicks, kind of. So when you get up top to the upper play field, you like have three kicks, so you can take three goals. All right. So about these displays. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So Zachariah used a, an interesting, uh, to put it mildly, uh, way of getting information and power to these displays. It's one big ribbon cable, and it takes for high voltage for the displays and the data signals in that same. Uh, squirrely little ribbon cable and it loops it daisy chains from one display to the next and on each display you have a set of jumpers that tell it what its position is in the chain uh -huh. and so player three and player four uh, because I was replacing one of these uh, digits it's two digits uh, four groups of two digits here uh, I had both of these displays out because I was putting the knackered one on player four where it wouldn't matter so much and uh, yeah, what broken. Is, what, what does knackered mean? Broken. <laughs> <laughs> Hacked up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I must have put them back in backwards. So that's why player three is now on player four. <laughs> and still yeah, plays. I'm still so. player two. So, you know, uh -huh. it doesn't affect me, so I don't care. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. These machines are so. Complicated though. Okay. I mean, there's okay. so much. Oh, he's up at the top. Right. Oh, look at this chill. Dan with the control. Goal. He knows how to play soccer. All right, so I'm going to do that uh, five more times. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, are you a fan of the English Premier League? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, wait, I've got to do that nine more times. I've got this set stupid hard. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. That's my job. You know, just, just making the Pinburg games as hard as possible. But we don't use this one in Pinburg. I know, but it's in the same building, so it's I have to make it blood. as hard as possible. It's just in his blood. Yeah, it's just like, you know, making Bowen cry, basically. That's, uh, <laughs> that's what I aim for in life. Who's up next? <laughs> Our player four, Colin. <coughs> so we were mentioning earlier um, how uh, Zachariah, near the end of their run, they became Mr. Game. And you got a couple of their games as well? <laughs> Correct. I've won a Mac Attack. Mac Attack. <laughs> and so you're going to lend that to us sometime, right? So we can do it on a broadcast. Oh, Got to get it out of the basement Careful, first. <laughs> How heavy are those games? <laughs> oh, they're heavy. <laughs> yeah, we had a, a checklist for um, the Pinburg games to make sure everything was done on it. And um, uh, for uh, Motor Show, uh, adjusting, adjusting the leg levelers, the note was, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, after I plunge, I want you to look at what the supposed high score is on this game. <laughs> That'll show up right here in the back glass, because it's it's stupid. All right. <laughs> <laughs> forty-four million. Well, yeah, forty-four million. Nice. Yeah, Dan I got, got in my warm-up. Dan earlier. got that in a practice game. Uh, so, what's your high score on this, Alexander? Forty-four million. Yeah, mine at home probably seven, eight, maybe. seven or eight. Oh. You're getting there. Another that, thing that high score is mine, by the way. Another thing to mention is Mr. Game also made another cool soccer game called uh, World Cup '90. You can never go wrong with the soccer theme. Oh. Sells good oh, come on, worldwide. Good shot. Get up there. It wasn't a good shot because it didn't get up there. Just go, go to your home, not down there. Okay. Oh, that was a terrible shot. 
I just want to get it in the goal one time game. Oh, it won't be this game. <laughs> uh, all right, so this uh, similar to uh, Magic Castle. This game has a, a ball three timer as well, and it's counting down. 19. You can this see it just gonna try over uh, right over here. Again to put it in that top hole. Watch the goalie, right boys, attack. Come on, get in. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the metric Holy cow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are those uh, 50 hertz seconds? Yeah, that was. 60 hertz time. Play harder. <laughs> Play harder. Wow. But, I mean, if you're counting down that fast, jeez. <laughs> So Five, the, uh, four, three, the two, pitch one. potentiometer <laughs> also affects the speed. Um, I wanted him to have like a, a nice light Mickey Mouse-esque voice. Uh, it does make him count a bit <laughs> faster though. So out of that 44 million score came up, I think I have a theory. This uh, ring of uh, buttons here, the super score, you get all them uh, lit and you have a few seconds of everything on the play field being 10 times. And you see the orange special here goes up to 500,000 before you even get the special. So that's 5 million per shot. Uh, the orange special is worth a million. Red special is worth 4.5 million. So 44 million, you know, it's, it is doable. Yeah, if you could line up the red special and then get the super scoring. Yeah. Uh, perfect game. Yeah. I mean, that would be one yeah. shot. <laughs> the, uh, 45 million points right there. And we talked a little bit about this. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We have multi ball. This is a multi ball game. Did you know that? Yeah, we uh, actually we had that question earlier. We uh, how many balls are in this game? Oh, you thought it was the same ball going up? Uh, oh no, it's not. I know what the answer is, but no, do are... you want to give the answer? Uh, sure. Since I had to put a little uh, note on it saying uh, this is where the balls go, because every time another tech would come to this game, uh, they'd be confused about how, where all these balls were coming from. There, are, there is one ball in the trough, and there are four <laughs> balls behind the goalie. Because you can have, uh, Five, every four, time you knock down these side, tar side drop targets, oh, so oh never mind, <laughs> it advances your <laughs> number of kicks you can do up here by one. So it'll, it'll spit out four balls at a time. Nice. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's just taunted in, him. In Zachariah style, it taunts you. <laughs> Play harder. Now we got to remember that player three still has a ball left, so. I built up 20 Zachariah seconds. Yeah. Oh! But that's okay. Still got 14 left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh, wow. That's the coach's way to get you to speed up. Uh, Chris was over there celebrating not coming in last place because he saw player four was up. <laughs> and he forgot I had a ball because I'm player three. <laughs> Fast counts, uh, different math. This game's awesome. One, two, four, three. All right. I'm going to play the dangerous strategy of shooting ABC. I like it. Yeah, all he needs to be. Good control. Bad shot. Almost gets the ricochet, though. But the points are there. He's past Chris. Now he's working on Colin. And he's going to have 36 seconds to get there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. It, the timer does start if, stop if you get to the upper play field. Oh, All right, another crack at it. Twenty-five oh, it left. Resets the ABC when it. Oh, uh, okay. Down to his last five. Five, five four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, you know, like traditional soccer, the game gives you some stoppage time. Oh, it's going to be close. No, he's not going to get there. I beat Chris, though, for Boston Market, I think. I think that's another Boston Market. Two Boston Markets. You heard it here first. Uh, another game. Whoever's up. Oh, I'm playing again. <laughs> yeah. 
This to... this coach is so um inspiring. Shoot to the center. And welcome to the booth, uh, Colin Dundies. How's it going? Good yourself? Not too bad. Playing some. How was your soccer king experience? Oh, um, I went to the attack zone, shot the goal. Not sure I did too much. Has anyone actually increased their bonus multiplier yet? No. I didn't get the flip enough. <laughs> Excuses. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. All right. That's not an excuse. That's an explanation. I did it. Great. You're in the attack oh, man. I hit the goalpost. Oh, <laughs> that goalie's a wall, man. Man. <laughs> so which goalie, is, which goalie do you like more, that one or the goalie on... Uh, World Cup 94. I prefer Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger? <laughs> <laughs> Normally I'd choose player four. <laughs> uh -huh. Go in there. Okay, so. There's a lot of games where you just like fired around hoping to make progress. This doesn't seem like one of them. You need a uh, well-defined plan for it. Whether you're going for the ABCs or the drop targets. Uh, when you're playing, what do you go for, Alexander? Um, I usually like to keep it up top and get the targets down, get the bonus multipliers. The drop targets and using the upper hey, flippers. And yes. If you can get really good bonus if you um, get to uh, like the 50X. Careful, watch the <laughs> that was pretty neat how it uh, drops through, a, I guess, like a gobble hole up around the upper play field and ends up in the middle. Yeah, it's definitely like a, a weird hole up there. It's not a scoop or anything that kicks it up. It just goes down into the play field and then switches the ball out. Right boys, attack. Oof. Left out lane, attack. <laughs> <laughs> and thank everyone for joining us tonight for all these fine Zachariah games. Uh, if, you, or if you're just joining us, you missed Magic Castle and Aerobatics earlier on tonight, and now we got some Soccer Kings. You know, I'm going to change that uh, speed and pitch. So the guy says, five, four, <laughs> and then your flippers die. <laughs> uh, so we had someone in the chat room commenting about the red flipper. Um, are parts still somewhat available for Zachariah games? <laughs> uh, no. Not or, remotely. We so have to cobble it together out of whatever we can find. Are you able to... Um, Use Williams parts or Bally parts, or nope. is anything interchangeable? No, I, I managed to rebuild the flippers on uh, uh, Robot about halfway, uh, but still no replacements for the bushings, still no replacements for the coil stops. So if somebody's looking for a good business opportunity, <laughs> Zachariah replacement parts. <laughs> All right, James. Uh... I don't think anybody can see this on the screen because top down, but there is a goaltender <laughs> in this game. Yeah, he's up there. And he's good. But you don't get any points from him. <laughs> like dog soccer, where you can <laughs> get goalie points. But that's only when you have that lit. That's Normally true. I hit him when he's not worth anything. Yeah, I can sh score goals all day long on dog My soccer. Boys, well, attack. it's not lit. Dog soccer. Dog soccer. Isn't, isn't that what everybody calls it? I call it World Cup 94, but to each their own. Come on. All right. Got a lot of lights lit up down there. It's hard to tell 
when the drop targets are down, I guess when they're down, it'll light the um, targets, the stand-ups in the back what for a bonus collect, you? or bonus uh, multiplier increase. I guess while uh, James is trying to put together some offense, we'll take a moment here to wish uh, Cassandra Peterson happy birthday. She is 68 today. You guys know who she is, don't you? That is Elvira. Yes. Happy birthday. New game coming up. Oh, up top. Boom! <laughs> yeah, Stern announced the uh, third edition of the Elvira franchise will be coming out soon. Uh, there's some pictures out there. It looks pretty good. Now, you really want to try and hit that um, right stand-up target in the top of the field, because that'll increase your bonus multiplier to 10. Like that. Right there. That's the first time I think we've seen that all night. Now he's got the left one lit as well. Will that get, make it to 20? That will. Yes. Ah, uh, that was me. That's all right. That was a good ball here. Over a million. Taking the lead. Good ball. Good that ball, James. A, yeah. Uh, uh, right, boys. Score points. That doesn't work. No. <laughs> you actually need the boys to do something. You can't just tell them to score. All right, so a question that I, I want Dan to answer is, he says that he can, like, change the pitch of the voice, right? Right? He said yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, but they can't hear him. Um, what I want to know is, can you, like, make it really deep so he sounds like some demon spawn? <laughs> like... Right, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you're ever, if you slow down Alvin of the Chipmunks, you know, that's what you would get. It'd be great. Oh, man. That's already a drain. I can tell. Well, don't let it be one. I'm trying. Hey. Hey. Oh, get in over there. Oh, that's, that was a bad shot. <laughs> Jared Stevens in the Papa Chat asking, are you going to watch the Zachariah pinball on Twitch? Uh, uh, oh boy. I don't watch, oh boy. I don't personally watch too much uh, video pinball, but there is a uh, uh, Zachariah pinball uh, in, uh, for the uh, computer arcade game. Um, you can learn the rules and um, try out some of these older games. Uh, I guess it's a good way to pass the time uh, when you don't have the real thing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't really have any feasible way to play any of these. If you want to learn rules, maybe for Pinburg or something, I think it's on Steam if you want to try that. Okay. Oh, and apparently it's also on Nintendo Switch. Nice. But that's the neat thing about Twitch. Uh, every, every game has a channel anymore. You need to... Uh, or you have a craving for oh, no, something, no. you can go on Twitch and probably find it. We need a uh, Twitch channel for bad pinball drains. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jake is going to uh, shoot right to the top with the so bad pinball drain. Dan, you were saying the yeah. uh, sound adjustments, they're, on in, they're in the back box? Yeah. Uh, so that's not an easy fix that we can no. do right now. So I guess you'll just have to score goals then. Yeah. Okay, get my ABC, building up the orange special, uh, not shooting for it. The orange blossom special? Yeah. Header over the top, nice. In no. the hole again. Multi-ball. Saddest multi-ball. You know, he'll just keep on Lavis all day if you let him. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's it. when you get to two or three up there, I mean, that takes some really good skill not to fire the one off to the side while trying to get the main goal. That's probably, um, can you use flipper skills up on the upper play field to separate the balls, to shoot them into the goals, or? Um, 
I love it's the speed that it calls stuff it. at the top one. So good. It's like hockey. Can't really maneuver that upper flipper too much. Like tap past the one up and the or uh, uh, and up and over and score a goal and then get the second one. Try shatting up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Toss to the center. Toss to the center. Yeah, we'll have to get a uh, one of those guys over there to come back over here so we can see you working your magic on this game. But these guys are doing pretty well on it. Uh, lots of James has both bonus sexes lit up at the top now. Up into the goal. Two ball. All right, let's see what he can do here. Now he's got two of them. Can he get two goals out of this? Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think that's. <laughs> this doesn't seem to be. <laughs> it's like Stewie Pinball now. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the game flipping. Yeah, that's the game flipping up under the upper play field trying to clear the balls out. That is remarkable. <laughs> I mean, this game is from 1982, knowing that all the balls aren't where they need to be from the upper play field. I'm trying to shoot that orange, but I got not, 84 seconds to do it as many times as I can. Not that orange. This orange. Yeah. 400,000. Okay, 1.9 million. That's pretty good. If you look on Pendagon, my high score is just over 3 million from earlier today. Oh, it's not 44 million? All right. That's a tight shot there to the right. But you can chats in this game. I mean, when you got a count a countdown going on, chatting is probably a great idea. Yeah, and if you've got that 50x multiplier adventure bonus, though at that point you might have maxed it out. James using good use of his time here. What is this, ball four? Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. 2.43. Oh, come on. Two, one. I'll take it. Yeah, I'd like to... I am skit by, uh, or I am a skit by, saying uh, he has a friend with a big Zachariah collection in Hungary. That'd be something neat to check out sometime. Mm -hmm. and there's uh, the collectors that have like these niches where they uh, pick something and uh, try to get all of them, all the uh, Mr. Game games and. <laughs> Or Zacharias, or oh. wedge heads, or whatever. I think we may have found Chris's kryptonite. Not feeling it tonight, that's for sure. Five, four, three, two, one. Wouldn't it be amazing if Steve Ritchie voiced the callouts in this game? Can <laughs> 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 you make that happen? <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> you could make that happen with pinball mix. <laughs> All right, so Jake is player three. Is he really? Yeah, yes. absolutely nothing. Almost. Now, Jake is using good soccer strategy here. He's extending the field, using both sides really well. Uh, shooting to the open space. As long as you're not shooting to the open space between the flippers, this is. Pretty good. Just can't find that hole. And. After some vigorous soccer playing, back into the booth is Chris Stevens. All right. Back doing something I'm oh. good at, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Not playing this game. Hey, I got two next moves. 
Oh, did I come in last again? Uh, not, not yet, not but yet. it's still a possibility. Oh, man. I just, no matter how I flip to get it into that center hole up top, I just it just never hit what I needed to hit to fall in. Now, like, a, a different game with different flippers, does it affect you a lot? Like, or, like, Gottlieb going from a Gottlieb to a uh, Stern during, a, like, a pinball finals, does the adjustment of flippers back too much or, uh, it or are you able to overcome it it definitely used to but now i think i've played them so often and i just got used to how they're going to play i kind of know what to expect but even so you could play a game that you would think has strong flippers but then it has weaker flippers or a game that you expect to have weaker flippers having very strong flippers and then all of a sudden the type of flipper it is doesn't really matter or then if you have a game it's um in a herb style tournament or even any type of tournament uh uh, getting a lot of plays in the flippers, just the positions of the shots change as they wear down. Mm -hmm. I mean, even like some of the rubber on the flippers is like dirty. It, it changes the, the effect of the shot. As the coils warm up, they get weaker too. Yeah. Which goes to show that if you go to, let's say, an herb type format, um, a pinball tournament, and uh, an herb for format is basically your, your best game. Um, People will be playing and qualifying on that for straight hours, going into the day, going into the night. So at the beginning of the at the beginning of the tournament, or the day of the the day of qualifying, you might want to play games that require fresher flippers, like a whirlwind, for instance, mm -hmm. to try to get that upper ramp shot. Don't forget your twenty-seven Don't forget seconds. Your extra oh game. yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, there was a discussion at the uh, Cleveland show. People uh, on the first day felt you couldn't maybe make the uh, ramp on taxi, so they were saying, I'll wait until tomorrow morning and try and get some games in. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah exactly. You know, just uh, wait, waiting a little bit later or at the beginning of the day well, can give you the best shot. To, to oh, oh wait. He's got, his, yeah. he's got his clock stopped. Four seconds. Oh. Chief. Oh. 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 Go. 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 How, how many is it going to spit out? What is it? This ain't right. Something's right. Yeah, it's losing track of how many balls it's spitting out. And I see why. Why? So that little hook off our micro switch has come off the gate here. Oh. Yeah. We need a tech. Can, can we get a zoom? Where, where can we get one? Can we get a zoom uh, in there? Wait, wait. What's on the back of your shirt, Dan? Oh, what's it say? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, look well, at that! Well, 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 Dan's going to take a look at it. We're going to go to Pinball Mix. Have you ever thought, what would it be like to have the best music possible in one of my pinball machines? Mark from Pinball Mix will upgrade your machine with smooth cuts, tight loops, and balanced levels. He does this with music you get to choose. There are plenty of mods to enhance what you see, but Pinball Mix enhances what you hear. Brian from Midland, Texas says he does a professional job and loops things to perfection. Kevin from Buffalo Pinball. Love the mix that Pinball Mix did for me. It's a great way to breathe some new life into your favorite games. And Paul from Pinside. I found this to be the best bang for your buck mod I can personally add to a game I love. Go to pinballmix.com to see videos of Mark's work or email Mark directly at pinballmix at gmail.com or check out his uh, work at some shows. I know he had uh, the mix in a Iron Maiden at uh, Replay FX, and there was a whole bunch of different mixes that he um, brought down, and they were all remarkable. An 80s mix, a uh, Queen mix, a whole bunch of neat stuff. All right. Speaking of neat stuff, oh, looks wait, well, like the players uh, hey, might, wait a be, minute. might be correct. Dan, yeah, Dan is fixing our displays, and since you're in the back box, can you mess with our sound? Yeah. Audio. Lower. Just do them Turn all. Turn all three. All of them. <laughs> we got way. Well, I got to get through one game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> teching 101. Yeah, we can make the players do whatever we want, but not the techs, apparently. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> all right, let's listen. Please. Please work. You three. Come on, boys. Let's see some real football. Dan versus Alexander. All right. You should be good. I'm... This is going to be a good match, but it's not. Alexander for the win. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> What's that say? Yeah, you're too close. It's Other camera. Turn around. Oh, oh, oh there it is. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's reassuring. That's very reassuring. 
It came from the start button, but that's cool. <laughs> All right, so I'm player one, yeah? Yep. Yeah. It's just you and Alexander. It's you so. versus Alexander. So okay, okay. this is for Boston Market. For this is for uh, Jim's Boston Market that he won. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> He's such a gentleman. <laughs> oh, get in the get in there. See, that's it. Like I just, no matter what I did, I couldn't, I couldn't make it stick. Oh, it, it is very, very tricky, and I think there's, there is honestly. A lot of luck in just getting in, into that top hole. Agreed. But what's a better way to do it? Like a bank shot or just I mean, straight you can, on? You can do it off the uh, off the upper plate, off the upper flippers, but it's it's very very tight. It's very difficult. The one and only time I got it, I basically aimed off of the targets to the side of the hole, so it hit off the pop bumper and fell in. Yeah, there he got it up there and on a indirect shot. And oh, oh. missed. Careful, watch the goalie. Careful, watch the goalie. I like how he just goes through this whole like play. <laughs> <laughs> this fee kind of scares me. Yeah. Whenever it comes out of there. There is it is. Okay. Switch in that feed, or is it just oh, kind of that's interesting what a geometry? Save. That's the little uh, elevator just, that yeah. the ball comes up out of. It's not quite a VUK. Uh, it's actually a, a VUK that the ball can roll over. It's like yeah. a proper little. Imagine, lift for yeah, the ball. like imagine that. Uh, Iron Monger's coming out of there. Mm. Just like, where do you think you're going with that soccer ball? Straight down the middle. Straight down the <laughs> middle. Ooh. He's got one. I, like, I don't think that works. That's super scope. I don't think no, it, it works. It does. It, it does. does. It does. Show me. Well, what do you need to get it? He I just has to roll, to roll over, over that red button or that right below it. Okay. Yeah. Can, can we like get a, an arrow on oh, it? Those are all right there. Oh, those yeah, are all it's, rollovers. It's very dangerous. But, but well, now you got to shoot it. But that's why we're right. here. Well, now you have to he shoot it. He has to beat Alexander. <sighs> Missed it. But while I'm up there, I'm while you're up there, you may as well make it in. Oh, that's, that was a good Doing shot. shot. Oh, uh, that looks pretty good. I think. Yeah, that had to have gone over it. Right there. See, that one did work. too. That one. Not so I'm much. beginning to think that switch ain't no, uh, that rollover ain't work. Uh, we got it earlier, didn't we, James? Oh. James says, yeah, he just agreeing because of what James does when Dan's playing. <laughs> good, that was a good ball, though. But will it be enough to take down the soccer prince? All right, so. <laughs> soccer prince. <laughs> he's, I don't think he's old enough to be a king yet. I mean, come on. Now, here, here's another thing, though, um, like for tournament players. Alexander owns one of these that we talked about. Like, if you had to play this in a tournament, how difficult is it to... Remind yourself, you're not playing your own game. It's going to have different bounces, different feeds, making the necessary adjustments. And that's one thing over time you kind of just learn. Like at first, I would ignore that, but over time you you learn it's a different game. You gotta get adjusted oh, yeah. to different bounces. Yeah, I definitely feel the you same. Know, the roles are the same. Well, it could be the same. It might be set up harder, but in general, they're the same. But the shots, they're. I mean, I'm sure he has the same goal in mind. Get it? <laughs> the crowd is Passes silent. Passes the right. yeah. Shoots. Shoots. Over the top. That's how most of my soccer shots went over the top. Over the top. You got to lean forward, Pete, if that happens. Lean over the ball. Oh, I was expecting to go straight yeah. down. Hey, he got the rollover lit. Yeah, he did. That means Dan might be in trouble. But he's still got all the other rollovers to play. He's in the attack zone. It's oh he hits the post. That goalie's a wall. Rebound goal. Watch the goalie. Go ahead, boys. Oh, that close game. Next time we do a soccer game, we're gonna have to get James to get some audio from uh, one of those uh, Mexican soccer uh, <laughs> the announcers. Oh, that'd be incredible. Oh, the, the announcers, right? Goal! 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 Oh, wait, geez. James, they haven't done it yet. Not yet. Oh, no. Wait. No, stop no. it. Stop it. <laughs> Goal. Goal. That's something like that, if I remember right. That sounded oh, about no. right, oh. though. Nice little bounce there. Come on. So orange. right now, are you going for orange? I'm, I'm trying. Right, try except it. it's, oh, it's in the head now. Hat. It's, oh, oh, we got oh, two. oh, look out. Shoots. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I played Shoots. soccer oh, nice. and there were two balls on the field. It just doesn't <laughs> seem right. There we go. That was in. Careful. Watch, Careful. The Watch the goalie. Okay. 
I like how it tells you, like, we might be spitting this right down the middle. So <laughs> Something's <laughs> about ready. to happen. Get ready. 400,000. 400,000. Right, That's what you want. There we go. Boom. Now you want it again. Uh, can you now? Can you just repeatedly hit that over and over again? Ow! What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> In theory. <laughs> In theory, you can. All right. So I have a Alexander. Alexander. Yes. If you, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that scoring goals advances your uh, your orange shot. All right. On the right, the target. On the left. On the left. What advances the orange on the right? A, B, C. Where's A, B, C? Um, oh, uh, those guys down there? there? Oh, okay. Once you collect that orange, does that reset it? Um, I am not sure on that one. You um, mean re reset the value, the, the orange? value. No, because he collected it and it was still lit for 400. What about on the start of his next ball? I think oh, it does reset, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Right boys. I was going to say, I'm playing this game all wrong, going for goals and stuff. But the goals are cool. Goals are where it's at. Like, whenever I'm playing Ice Fever, yeah. I got to go for goals. Oh, What people were most remembered from Team USA? The ones that scored the goals. Mm -hmm. And the multi-ball. Kelly O'Hara played great defense. No one remembers her, except me, because yeah. I like defenders. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What should I do? Uh, you need to be when. Alexander. Okay, cool. Oh look! Wait, his orange is still blinking. Yeah, it is. It held it. So. Oh, that was a that was a sweet shot. Watch the attack. Careful. Okay. Yeah, there's a there's a little uh, time delay if you get it right in like that because it wants to make sure it's the like, ball makes it all the way down make its uh, that shot? <laughs> all the way down its uh, subway now. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Like I say, 1982. You know? Oh, this looks bad. Okay, that's okay. Oh, he had no it's fear. No, no, no. <laughs> he got this. Alexander got nothing, even though he owns this game. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got confirmation that the orange bonus does not reset in between balls. Well, that's that's a setting. Yeah, I'm surprised Dan left that like that. Yeah, well, I have occasional moments of mercy. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> He has to have an occasional moments of mercy. You saw what this game did to me. Oh, 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 oh nice nudge. I, I got that chuckle. They, they took the uh, high speed um, from here up for Cleveland, and I saw one of the settings. I was like, yeah, I wonder who did that. Oh, yeah, that was me. What was the setting? <laughs> There's no kickback to start. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You're welcome. I threw away a couple tickets for that. Yeah, my, my first plunge was perfect right down the out lane. Flipped late. and. Oh, come on. You're just Get it? No, that's not good. Oh. So you what, though? 93 90, can, on the clock. So you can continually hit that orange. That's your yeah. goal that's what right now. Do. That's 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 90, the money. 93 Zachariah seconds to get as many four, 500,000 okay. as right. you can. Let's try that again. Yeah. 86. So much for that strike. Yeah, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. One timer. He Bo shoots. Oh. No. Oh. Right, boys. Look, attack. Tell you what. Two kicks on there. You're in the that. attack zone. And it stops the clock. Oh, oh, he split the D. Get in there. That one's in. Go. So I have four goals now. Yeah, it's interesting. It doesn't have a uh, goal counter. There's one. They got it. Okay. You're at 2.6 right now. Alexander's nodding approval. You're at uh, 53 uh, fast seconds. I forget what they're called. <laughs> Metric seconds. Oh, and another. Zekens. Oh. Zekens. Zekens. They, they are Zekens. Bam. You're down to 36 seconds. Zekens. Kalauer. Get it, get it. Okay, oh, one more time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh no. Sorry, right. still 20 seconds. He can still come back, uh, yeah. Dan. What are you doing? 16 seconds. Ah. He, he can still come back. Oh, there Dan, there. Okay, now Dan could have now 20 can. million and he could still come back. Three, two, one. Right out, game over. Nice. That's, nice. That's, that's, worth a, that's worth an applause. Three, seven. Not only can he tech, but he can play yes. soccer. Someone get him a different shirt. He, he's, he is now a player. All right, Alexander, you have a hill to climb here. What do you think you're going to do? We thought we were going to get um just um good. Game tips on uh, setting up Zacharias and knowledge. Dan can play too. 
All right, Alexander, what's your <laughs> Looks like he's here? going for the, go for the red special. Red special. I like it. I like Foss it. Oh, nice the nudge. To the he wants to get them goals. Oh. There it is. Great. It's up. The zone. Shoot. 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 Only got one, but oh. there it's it is. In. Careful. Watch the Careful. You got to survive this. He's got it. He, nice. Nice pass. Nice. Okay, good control. I like it. Oh boy, he's a little swirly now. This side to side action is very dangerous on this game. Those out lanes just take everything. Going back up top again. I'll he's got it. his 10x. Super score. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> points on points. Oh, this. I don't. I don't know how much this is worth, but there's just. Yeah, there's the super no score light has stopped blinking. You can see it was blinking there for a moment. A header. Oh. Careful. One of two, though. Oh, that was a beautiful kick. And Super right. Score starts Super back up. Going. So it's oh, interesting that it, it stops while it's in the upper play pillar. He's, he's at 2 million. You hear this was a 10x scoring? 10x play field right now. And here, I just want to shoot the drop target on the right side. Yeah, that oh, stand, oh, the stand up target, the orange. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I hear that sound, and I just think space invaders. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, he hits the goalie. Who does that? Another save. Shoot. Oh, another off the post. The center forward has the ball. Shoot. Goal. And it's Goal. in there. Right He's point. making a comeback here, folks. Super score still going. Super score still going. I thought that was timed. Oh, that was huge. Maybe it was orange. Know. Orange is ready. Oh, there's the hit. That is huge. 3.1. And so that was 200 times, or 20 times 10, 200? Two, I don't know. 200 times? I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot of points. Oh, he's going for it again. This is one long 20 seconds. The the point is, he has there four, it is. Okay. He has so four million, four, yeah. so he's already... He's a, oh, he's at four. Oh. <laughs> the super score is over, and so is the game. <laughs> and he still has a bonus ball. And he maxed out the, bon the time, 99. And that's how you play the game when you're down by three million points, ladies and gentlemen. And that's like why it. he's in the top 25 of the world. I'm no longer there. See what happens? I skip one Pittsburgh Pinball League, and I drop like a rock. Well, I guess you'll have to play this season then, huh? Uh, I'll be there. Don't you worry. Hey, there's another orange target. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, league just started up. You can still join. Come out any Thursday, Friday, or Sunday. Check out PittsburghPinballLeague.org. Yay. And if you're not from Pittsburgh... Come out anyway. Go ahead and look into some leagues near you. They oh. are fun. Great way to get out there and play some pinball and make some new friends and test your skill. Now, Alexander has an interesting light blink in there. I don't know what that is, but. That is a. Uh, Advanced know, bonus or? On the in lane, it looks like. Yeah. Look. There it is. He got, he collected it. Oh, he almost got it again. Or he's out of 12 seconds. Now remember, he said his high was like around 7 million on his game at home. Oh, oh 50,000. 50, oh. So what's your what's your high on this, Alexander, at home? At home, probably around 8, 9. Oh. One crack at it. Well, he had one crack at this nine. game. Yeah, that's all 7 he million. Needed. All he needed. That's all he needed. <laughs> Remarkable. Nice game, Alexander. Thank Good you. job, man. So that we had a fun evening tonight playing Zacharias, a great uh, manufacturer from Italy back in the day. Uh, it's uh, always fun to get a hold of these games that you don't see very often. If you're at a show and you stumble across one, it may not look exciting, but try it out. Um, it can be a lot of fun, and you never know when you might see one again. Um, we want to thank everyone for joining us tonight uh, after our couple weeks off for Cleveland. Uh, and hopefully you'll join us next week when we got three more great solid state games uh, on the uh, agenda. I want to thank James for producing tonight. I want to thank Dan Hall and Alexander for both coming out and being a part of the broadcast. Uh, uh, Dan's insight into these Zacharias is remarkable. And hopefully you guys learned something like we did as well. And um, Thanks to all the players tonight. Thanks to, for Chris and Colin for joining me in the booth. I'm Pete, and we'll talk to you next week. Take care.